So this week, I'm going to cook something that I know Julia Child would make. Beef Wellington. Today I found Chef Gordon Ramsay's recipe. I know Beef Wellington's like not very fashionable right now, but it was when I was growing up. And there's some kick-ass recipes if you look for them. Julia Child meets Gordon Ramsay. That would be scary. It's like the Blender Death Show. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence. Today we have a special treat, Beef Wellington. People would initially make the beef in the Wellington boots. You know, the rubber boots? How delicious does that sound? But before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. Okay, I've been promising to do this for a while. That special drink, the Green Fairy. Absinthe. Yeah, I'm the Green Fairy. Absinthe. This is real absinthe. Somebody brought it to me from France a couple of years ago and I forgot I had it. Absinthe, as you know, is made with wormwood. That's what absinthe is. A glass. This is not an absinthe glass. It's just a wine glass. I don't drink absinthe enough to have the whole set of equipment. Ice water and sugar cubes. An absinthe spoon is a little spoon with little slots in it because you're gonna pour the water over the sugar cube so that the water can drain into the glass. But I'm using a fork. Fork you, absinthe. See that nice green color? It'll make you crazy. See, this is the nice thing about the absinthe spoon. It stays right where you need it to be, unlike the fork. And slowly drip the ice water over the sugar cube. Clearly this is not a proper absinthe fountain, which is a fountain of ice water used specifically for this purpose. Stir. You see how it got cloudy? That's absinthe for you. Cheers. Mm. I hope you like licorice flavored stuff because that's what this tastes like. I fucking hate licorice, but I love licorice flavored things. Does it come from Wellington, New Zealand? The Duke of Wellington? I'm guessing the boots have nothing to do with it. Don't drink too much of this. Mm. All right, you're supposed to use beef tenderloin. Well, I asked him to cut me a chunk of it, and a little chunk about this big was $40. So how about no? Got a Chuck roast. Maybe that'll do. Get some paper towels. Put your beef on it. Roll your beef up in the paper towel. We're gonna dry it. Because we have to brown it, and it browns better when it's dry. Did you know that? This is too big. Uh, let's cut it like in half. That'll be good. Let's season it with some salt and pepper. Plenty of that. Get your frying pan, heat it up real high. Very high, like Julia Child. A little bit of olive oil. Actually, the high one would probably be Gordon Ramsay, but whatever. All of his shrieking. I'd like to see Julia Child cursing like Gordon Ramsay does. That would be awesome. It's raw! It's raw! Get the fuck out of my kitchen! You can't serve raw meat! Alright, when it's just about smoking, there we go, time. Sear your meat. Sear it. Just a couple of minutes. Get all sides. Don't forget the end. Alright, that looks great. We're going to let that cool. Nice and seared all around. It's time for a refill. Hello. Mm. Get some plastic wrap. Fight with the damn plastic wrap. What terrorist came in and effed it all up? What the fuck is going on with this? Come on, glad? What the hell? Glad, yeah. Get a different box of plastic wrap. See how much fun cooking is? Fuck. Cooking would be a lot easier if it wasn't for the difficulties of plastic wrap. Oh shit, I'm not supposed to do the plastic wrap yet? Oh crap. Here's some mushrooms. These are portobellos. You can use whatever the hell mushrooms you like. Get your mushrooms in some nice chunks. Or use small mushrooms, I don't care. 
Put them in the food processor. I got a food processor. How awesome is that? To replace my blenders that would always freaking die on this damn show. Go take a look if you don't believe me. Go look at my whole episode. Don't put anything in the food processor while it's running. Once you break your brand new food processor, take a drink. Let us continue to cook. See what else we can destroy. We're just gonna saute that to get rid of the moisture because there's a lot of moisture in mushrooms. You know, the original beef wellington was made, is made with foie gras, not mushrooms. So I thought it would be cheaper to use mushrooms than foie gras. Evidently, I was wrong. Oh yeah, time for a refill. There's a chunk of blender. Awesome. All right, once it looks like most of your water is evaporated from the mushroom curry with blender bits, let's let that cool down. Now it's time for our cling wrap, our cling film, our plastic stuff. Just still not being cooperative. Get you some prosciutto ham or parma ham if you can find it. They probably won't know what you're talking about when you ask for parma ham. Make a layer of prosciutto. I saw some parma ham and it looks like, it's kind of like it's rotting, which is a little scary. Let's take our mushroom stuff, layer that on the prosciutto. Or if you're so inclined and want to save your food processor, Use some foie gras, pâté de foie gras. Now take your whole beef thingy that you seared, wrap it all up. All right, wrap that up nice and tight. All right, wrap it up in a little barrel, nice and tight. Put it in your fridge, 20 minutes. Twitter, whatever. The salad dressing, because you're not just gonna have beef wellington. Get some of your olive oil. Balsamic vinegar. However much olive oil you put in, put in like a quarter of that of balsamic vinegar. And this is a great, like kind of all around spice, Greek seasoning. All right, the fun thing about making a vinaigrette, which is what this is, is you can flavor it all kind of ways. You can use raspberry, lime, any kind of fruity, whatever the heck it tastes. I'm gonna use orange, make an orange vinaigrette. Just a little bit of orange juice. A couple of tablespoons, maybe, I don't know. You taste. Perfect. Let's make some salad fixings. Spring mix, why not? Get some bean sprouts. That's all little shit. Tomato. A little bit more Greek seasoning. When you're making a salad, don't dress it right away if you're not gonna eat it right away. Put your dressing on right before you eat it. Yes, chef. Preheat our oven. Bring it around 400. That shit will mess with your brain. Let's just do some sweet tea vodka. That's much easier to deal with. So let's have some potatoes. But let's make them sweet potatoes. Because they're good. Just gonna top the potatoes. As we say in New Orleans, tin pearl. Get a little pat of butter. Wrap it up. Get your little sweet potatoes in your little foil bundles. Pop that in the oven. I'm guessing the crusty part is the Wellington part because the beef part is the beef part. That just makes sense. Filo dough. Filo dough is an interesting concept. You got this, it's a sheet of dough, but each sheet is made up of these little paper thin dealios of dough. We're gonna wrap our beef in the pilo dough. All right, there it is. All wrapped up in its little ham and its mushroom. I plop it on the middle of the pilo dough. Get you a couple of eggs. Separate your eggs. I already showed you how to do this in the Eggs Benedict episode. Not showing you again. Pay attention. 
All right, we only using the yolk of the eggs. There's my absent spoon. I knew I had one. That's what an absent spoon looks like right there. Get your brush. Brush all around. Shit, I forgot to do the mustard. Damn it. All right, I was supposed to do this before I wrapped the thing in the mushrooms and prosciutto. To wrap the beef up with this crazy dough. All right, the rest of our egg yolk. Brush, 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 brush on the outside. Wrap it up nice and tight. Flip it over seam side down onto a baking pan. Top it off with a little bit of coarse salt and score it. Which means you're going to cut the top but not all the way down to the meat. Just a really light. Alright, hopefully this is good. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's put it in the oven, 400 degrees. 25, 35 minutes ish. We'll check on it in a bit. We're going to make a Bordelaise sauce. How exciting is that? Let's get a half an onion. Sprig of rosemary out of your garden. Couple of sprigs of thyme out of your garden. What do you mean you haven't planted a garden? Get you some beef broth. Put in like, I don't know, a cup of that. Never cook with any wine you wouldn't drink yourself. As Gordon Ramsay slash Julia Chow would say. Never cook with any wine you wouldn't drink yourself. You fucking idiot. Maybe, I don't know, a quarter cup of red wine. Or more, whatever. But make sure it's okay to drink. It's good. Your sauce, let it come to a boil, and then reduce, let it simmer for a bit. Okay, it's been like a little over 35 minutes. Internal temperature has reached way too high. 145 degrees, I was looking for 130 for medium rare. We're gonna go for like medium for this. Potatoes. was stupid. Not really sure why I picked it up with my bare hands. Oh, it looks pretty darn good. Filo dough, puff pastry, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. What do you do when you traumatize me? Let it rest. Okay? Okay, neighbors, what the hell are you doing with the brick slippers? Not real sure what's going on with that. This is reduced nicely. And we'll go with another little pat of butter in the sauce. Red. It's like the Sabbath of cooking. Seriously, what is that noise? Ice it down the middle. Squish it open. Lovely little potato pocket. Lovely. Chunk of butter. Some sour cream. Fresh chives from the garden. It's nicely reduced. We're going to take all of our sprigs of stuff and onions and junk. Pitch that. We don't need that. Now, let's check out our beef wellington. The pièce de résistance. It may suck. I don't know. Ooh, it sounds nice and crispy. Oh, that looks pretty darn good. Very nice beef Wellington. Oh, I'm dripping it. Cut like an inch thick slice for yourself there. Ooh, the drippy part tastes really good. Mmm. Now we pour it on the salad. Don't put tons of salad dressing on your salad. Just put enough to coat the leaves because, really, if you just want the taste of salad dressing, then just have a cup of that. There we have it. Beef Wellington. Lovely salad with orange vinaigrette. Big sweet potato. Awesome. Salad. Outstanding. Is a potato. Yum. Here's the part I'm not sure about. Let's try the Beef Wellington. Oh, totally do this. Holy crap, this is so good. Delicious. Good luck. Enjoy your beef wellington and your accoutrement. Adios and bon appetit. Ha ha ha!